Welcome to the Garage Series. My name is Jeremy Chapman. And I'm Michael Latala. So last fall we had an awesome show where we basically looked at office across all of the platforms, all of the experiences that we had. We even put yeah. John Case in a rally car to see whether or not he could navigate a course with Bucky Lasik using Office Mobile. Yeah, it was an exciting time uh, for, for Office Mobile and today is even more exciting time. We now have office across every major platform out there. And that's a big deal, right? We had 10 years ago, imagine me standing up here and saying, Microsoft is the most committed to cross-platform innovation out there. You'd have thrown me out the, the stage, you'd have thrown tomatoes at my chest, but today, I challenge you to find another company that is more committed to cross-platform in innovation in productivity than Microsoft. First question I get, though, when you say all this, what about Office native on the iPad? We absolutely have those two now. Right, so we're gonna show that. We're gonna show yeah. also some new and lesser known capabilities. But before we get started, let's have a look at today's trivia question. True or false? The OneNote Windows 8 app will convert images with text or handwriting to editable text. So stay tuned for the answer at the end of the show. Michael, what's driving all these changes? Yeah, call it BYOD, call it consumerization of IT. The bottom line is we know you just want to use whatever device you have in your hand and you want a great office experience on it. And you might have more than one device, so one of the great ways to keep all of those devices in sync and the fabric really pivoted on you is Office 365. Absolutely. So you can get to all of your documents, all of your files, right from any device that you choose. But beyond that, we have some core engineering tenants as we build Office, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the first of them is absolutely modern experiences, but it's about more than just the experience being modern. It's about the reach of that modern experience. One of the things that, that we're very proud of is our investment in Office Online, and Office Online is your version of Office on the web. With Office Online, you can be assured that that modern experience reaches the furthest reaches of your, of your device portfolio, even when we don't have a rich application. We can give you a modern Office experience on everything across every major browser. And one thing I always am interested in is having experiences on screens of all sizes. Because here we have this 82-inch PPI, mm -hmm. but Beautiful. I'm also wearing a one and a half inch smartwatch that I want to have office experiences running on anything from this size all the way to my watch. And I think those two devices underscore the importance of designing in a thoughtful way for screens of different sizes. It isn't just about taking what can fit on an 82-inch screen and shrinking it down to two inches or stretching a two-inch app out because that would be a horrible experience for all of you. What we want to do is be thoughtful about the native capabilities of all of these devices and screen sizes so that we can take advantage of things like touch, like digital ink, in a really, really immersive way, but also make sure that we use the re screen real estate in an effective way so that you can be productive in each of these situations on each of these devices. And we also want to make sure that the experiences across all of them are glued together by Office 365. We're taking advantage of all of the, the experiences, even the cameras on the devices, but beyond that, we've had a long history delivering great Office experiences, especially on Windows and on the Mac using rich applications. And we know that you care deeply about the rich desktop application experience that you've come to know and love with Office and will continue to innovate deeply in that area. Um, one of the things and the, one of the best ways to ensure that you get a great rich application experience is with Office 365 Pro Plus where you get those rich desktop applications you've always loved. Right, so modern experiences, screens of all sizes, rich applications. Yep. I know you're dying to show some demos and I know people are dying to see it, so why don't we go take a look? Yeah, let's go do that. All right, we're gonna start right here with Surface. Let me just plug it in real quick. All right, so we talked a little bit about um, Office Online, which is really great because it's your version of Office on the web. It gives you the opportunity to access all the great modern experiences of Office in any web browser anywhere. And let's go ahead and take a look. We're here in OneDrive for Business. Um, okay. You can see right here, um, I've got my document list in OneDrive. One of the great things about Word Online and, and PowerPoint and Excel Online is you actually in OneDrive get these previews. And these are, as you can see as I reach forward and touch, these are actual live versions of Word Online running right here inside this little window. So you can take a look at the doc before you open it. Um, right. This doc, you'll notice, is also shared with two of my colleagues, Robin Counts and Garth Fort. I'm going to have you play Garth Fort today. Okay, I can um, do that. Just so you can um, 
help show how collaboration works in, in, in Word Online. So we're opening the doc in Word Online, and the first thing you notice is that Word Online it looks like Word, right? This isn't this isn't a skimmed down version of, of uh, a rich application. It's actually a rich application in a web browser, and that's it's really great to be able to experience that familiar um, look and feel as soon as you open it. Another thing you'll notice is we've done a lot of new things in, in Word Online along with PowerPoint and Excel and OneNote Online. One of the features you'll notice maybe first is right up at the top there's this text window that says tell me what you want to do. Now how many times do you actually struggle to find that perfect ribbon command to do the thing you want to do? Sometimes people forget, I know I do. In this case, I want to scroll down in this document and I want to insert a doc. It looks like Garth is actually recommending that we insert a table here. I can see he edited this document. So let me insert a doc table right here. I'm going to go and say insert grid uh, because I don't remember where that command is, but you can see Word Online tells me right where it is. It pops up the command. I can just scroll right over. I can create a table and insert it right there. And just like that, without having to find the command, I've got a table. You'll also note, you notice that Garth actually edited the document a little bit. And in the upper right-hand corner here, you can see that it shows me that Garth is actually currently editing this document online. And with my hands off the keyboard, you can see that Garth, right next to me right here, is co-authoring the doc real-time with me. So right in the doc, we can both make changes. I can put a little, I can delete the suggestion because I know that we've already got the table there. In the meantime, Garth is editing the table and changing the format. So super collaborative environment right here in any web browser that we can support. The, um, and you don't have to hit the save button either. Yeah. The nice no, thing is it just continually saves. Yeah, right at the bottom you can see this document is saved in OneDrive or OneDrive for Business, which right. is, means your changes will always be available to you, no matter what device you're using. So another thing we talked about earlier is uh, about native device integration, ways to make sure that we take full advantage of whatever device we're running an app on. One of the best, at, one, of the, one of the features of this application, uh, of this device rather, is a camera. I want to be able to use the camera, right? Well, when I'm, digital note, when I'm doing digital note taking with OneNote, using the camera might be relevant. It's a great opportunity to capture what's right in front of me. So let me jump into that uh, OneNote application. It's the OneNote Windows Store app. You've probably seen this before. It's been out there for a little while. You can jump through and see all your notes. Um, Real, real straightforward. Um, but in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a, 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 sh a picture. I'm going to take a camera shot. The, um, this book right here on the desktop about getting to know SharePoint. I'm going to take a quick photo of it. The first thing you noticed is it got outlined right away. Let me go ahead and insert it, which is because OneNote actually found that document, cleaned it up, squared it up, and flattened it so I'd have it um, in the uh, in a nice format for my note, notebook. The other thing that happened is just now is OneNote just actually OCR'd the image. So I just right click, copy text, paste. There's the text from that document. What does that mean? Well, that means not only did we just OCR the image, did we just get the text so we can pull it out of images, but we actually also can now search on that text. So I can type right here and say search on my notebooks. I can say SharePoint. You can see quickly down at the bottom, body contains SharePoint, getting to know, and you can see the hit highlighting right here, um, which and the hit highlighting in the image, because all of those things are recognizable text by OneNote. Immediately available and available everywhere OneNote is available. Very cool. So handwriting recognition, immediate uh, character recognition, and you can even search on images. So yeah, absolutely. incredibly cool technology. And, and this is a great, I mean, OneNote is such a great application. I know there's a bunch of OneNote fans out there. Once you start using it, it's really hard to, to get away from it because right, it's such right. a great tool for capturing everything that matters right. to you. Um, but one of the big missing pieces that we've had, and we've heard a lot of feedback on it, has been OneNote on a Mac. And the great news is, back in March, we made that available. So let me take a look really quick at what OneNote looks like on a Mac. I've got a little MacBook Air down here, mysteriously hidden under the table. Let me pull it up really quick. Plug my cable into that. Looks like a familiar file. Should look familiar. It's the same OneNote notebook. Mm -hmm. Sitting in OneNote, you see a familiar uh, OneNote environment right here. There's a uh, uh, icon that looks familiar, so you know how to find OneNote. There's your notebook files over here. I can click through them really quick. Um, I can see this, uh, this image right here that we were looking at earlier. Uh, look, and this is another great thing. Even if you can't take a photograph with this device in particular of, of a document, if you've taken pictures and OCR that text, that OCR text works. If I go up and, and search on eggs right here, if I spell it right, you'll notice that in the image right here, eggs was actually hit highlighted. Uh, because all that OCR text is available, the index is there, right. it's available everywhere. Um, so all those, all those notes we took in past Garage Series shows, back with Tim Bucky on the motorcycle, eggs in Hong Kong, so 
all this is also coming back up to me using the cloud to surface that document right back into yeah. my Because we're connected one to OneDrive here and OneDrive for Business right here, just like uh, But uh, I think we've like got this. even more to show, right? We do, don't we? Talking about devices that people care about and, and the device, the choice of our uh, of Office users out there, we want to make sure that we um, uh, also make make this wonderful iPad a more functional device when it, when it comes to office experiences. Right, let me just uh, yeah. wire Let's that up and hand it to you. So the iPad, we know it's a device that matters to a lot of folks out there. A lot of you really care about what the experiences are on this. And frankly, we've had some great applications available on this device. We've you know, shipped Link on and we shipped OneDrive for Business. We've got OA for iPad, really great applications. And now we've got Office, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint native apps available on the iPad. Uh, and I'm going to show you a little bit of a tour of all these things. Let's first jump into OA because OA for iPad is a really powerful um, app and frankly it is a great example of how the same code is th that is available in OA in a web browser can be surfaced here but in a device appropriate form factor appropriate right, way. Right. Like now we instead of having a three column view in a big web browser on a monitor we actually have a nice two column view our uh, folders are hidden away, but easy to access. And look at all the spacing across the different folders in this list. Very easy to touch, very easy to use my fingers. Yeah. Um, browsing through, very straightforward. If I want multi to take multiple actions, I can swipe through a whole bunch of um, emails and I get this set of um, commands on the right-hand side that are very easy to tap, mark red or mark as unread. Uh, very straightforward, very cool app. Um, and remains, um, remains, I think, one of the more, more powerful productivity tools on the iPad. It's, it's so cool. It has also free busy capabilities and calendaring, really rich. The apps, we also got some new stuff with the apps, right? The, um, the, the apps for iPad, are, the apps for Office are available here, and there's also the apps that the, are Office right, right here. So let's jump in and take a look at actually Word, Excel, Word PowerPoint, Excel, the, the new apps um, that are available on the iPad. Right. Um, first, I'm going to jump into Word. So the first thing is Word launches right here that you'll notice is this looks a lot like Word, right? Um, up in the left-hand corner, this is Office is still personalized. This is me logged in to Office 365, which means that not only do I have this great rich set of um, templates to choose from, I also have my most recent documents to, to choose from. I can open documents either from my OneDrive for Business or my consumer OneDrive or locally on the device. Mm -hmm. um, you can see my list of documents right here. And there's that Northwind proposal you can see last edited by Garth Fort just a, little, a few moments ago. So if I open that document, let's open it on the, um, on the iPad right here. It's opening from OneDrive for Business. Okay. Um, you can see I have a, uh, I'm going to move into edit mode right away. So uh, I think I'm still logged in as a co-author, right? And yeah, yeah, you absolutely are actually, as am I, in fact, on another device. So there's a few of us editing. It's actually me right. twice and, and, and you, maybe me three times. But there's that change we made earlier, the table that, uh, that Garth entered in there and the edits that we made earlier right here on this device. Now, Very cool. Now, as we're looking at this, let's also back up and look at the overall experience. And this is a place where this feels and looks like Word. Um, but there are some differences, right? One of the things that's important as we design for uh, a device like an iPad is we want to make sure that first and foremost, we give you a familiar office experience. After we, after we make sure that you feel comfortable in the application that you're using, Word in this case, we want to make sure, hey, you're an iPad user. We want to make sure that you feel comfortable on the device. In this case, as you look at the menus across the top and the ribbon commands, you'll see that uh, slider buttons like you expect from iOS exist as opposed to the normal switches that would be in Windows because we want to make sure that we sort of bridge that gap between both a app experience that you're comfortable in and a device experience that you're comfortable in. But then we want to make sure you can really actually get things done in this. So whether that's editing with your um, device keyboard, whether it's um, doing some text, um, highlighting some text, getting contextual menus that pop up, going up and actually changing the font color. You'll see right here, hey, there's a menu of colors I can choose from. If I shrink the keyboard down, um, I actually get a longer menu of colors because we know that keyboard's out of the way. We can use the device real estate really effectively. And I can change this to whatever um, color I choose, perhaps. As a, and I can increase the full italics. Very touch-friendly, very easy to use um, ribbon menus across uh, on Word for iPad. Let's jump out of Word, though. Let's open PowerPoint another place we're going to see very familiar experiences and an office that we feel comfortable in. First and foremost, there are your templates, a wonderful set of rich templates to choose from. Again, most recently used documents, um, access my, my OneDrive for business, my consumer OneDrive. Um, I'm going to open this Northwind presentation right here. It's going to download it to the device. And again, you're seeing Office 365 really as kind of the fabric holding together 
what you were working on on the surface there earlier, even as I'm co-authoring, all these devices are connected by that Office 365 yeah, uh, environment. Yeah, absolutely. And the great thing about this is one, one of the things you'll notice right away is full file fidelity, rich yes, documents, beautiful. no loss of formatting right here. So we'll always make sure that when you are in an Office experience, you get the richness that Office documents, presentations, and spreadsheets can provide. And as I click through, you see all that richness surface here. I can change the size of, of an object on the slide, and you notice that these, the anchor points on the corners are large enough that I can easily grab them with my finger. If I want to think about different ways to, um, maybe I don't want to color this a little differently, I can get my chart ribbon up here, get different choices of the way the pie chart might use, work, maybe a different color scheme that I like better, um, uh, and, 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 and other editing commands such as like moving text around, changing fonts. Again, look at those big anchor points, very easy to change. Uh, you can also present, of course, because it's PowerPoint. Um, if I jump into presentation mode, I can use my uh, finger to swipe through slides. If I want to um, present, I can swipe from the top, pick up a pen, even if it's just my finger, make some changes and do some digital linking um, on the slide while I'm presenting, which is a really powerful tool, even, if it's, even if it's a, a, a limited um, inking experience as the iPad has. The, uh, so that's PowerPoint, right? Again, rich experiences, menus, and, and ribbon commands that feel familiar but are device appropriate. Uh, right. Let's jump into one more because Everybody loves Excel. And Excel on the iPad, not, not the first touch kind of looking at, but this is something very important to a lot of yeah. people. Great experiences on the iPad. And you wouldn't think necessarily that Excel is the thing that matters on a touch device, but we want to make sure that you can access the experience on this device if this is the one that you care about. Um, in this case, I'm going to open this audit of my company economics, again, from OneDrive for Business, which is right there available to me, connected to Office 365. Mm -hmm. And you see right here, a rich um, uh, Excel spreadsheet with a chart with a table connected to it. You know, these are things that I can change real time on the slide. So if you look at the table on the right, and I, maybe I make this um, something obscenely large. You can see the table just adjusted itself real time. Everything else flattened out because of that one, um, one of that one uh, Midwest number right there. If I want to uh, maybe change this uh, uh, table a little, maybe I don't like the the area chart that we've got here. I want to actually look at some other recommended charts. Well, maybe I'll do a cluster column. That seems like it makes sense. Or, or maybe I can change this to um, a bar chart right here. I can even make modifications at a more granular level, choose a different kind of pie chart. Um, I can change my styles. I can choose different colors. Um, I can change uh, layouts, et cetera. So really a pretty powerful editing Definitely. experience right here with Excel. Um, I can make this, maybe I want to make this a table, um, which lets me get filtering at the top of the table. So again, we're talking about a, a fairly powerful Excel experience right here on the iPad um, all around. So this is, this is just a very exciting time for us. We're able to really deliver to you a Office experience, a modern Office immersive experience across every device that matters. Um, and this is, um, so this is a very exciting application set for us. We hope that you have an opportunity to experience it um, if you haven't already. The, um, and frankly, we're going to continue to innovate in this area, right? This isn't the only place. This isn't the end of, uh, of it all. And, and even if innovation means extending the office experience to that little two-inch screen right. that's on that smartwatch that you're, uh, that you're carrying right there. And we, we should can do totally, that, too. Yeah, let's we give, can give that a try. Let's give something a try right here. So, okay. so Jeremy, you're running some interesting software, some Microsoft software on that little so smartwatch. So I've got an right? Android ice cream sandwich smartwatch here, and I'm actually logged in with Link, and I'll go ahead and take that off so you can get that on your camera. Oh yeah, we'll do that. Um, but basically I'm logged in and now if you wanted to, we could actually do a video call right from the watch. I've got other things on there like Yammer, I've got other I've got other Office software running on this device because it is Android, it is a platform that we support. It's not something that we've showed yet on the show, but something that uh, definitely has a lot of great Office experiences on it. So I'm gonna make a video call to you. You can see my um, front-facing camera here for me on the video call. I'm placing a link call to Jeremy, and Jeremy's logged in the link right there on that smartwatch. So he just and answered the phone. Um, so we're actually now, I'm going to mute my um, phone. Okay. Now, just so you guys can get a better look at this, I am going to um, open the camera on this device. A second. And then we're going to hold it over top right here. So right now, I am on a iPad running Link 2013 making a video web conference call to Jeremy's smartwatch. 
uh, that's running Android ice cream right, sandwich. Turn the speaker off so that way and you'll. That, and that is just an experience that I don't think we could have um, we could have expected just just uh, six to twelve months ago. But man, we've done some uh, awesome. Uh, things in um, across platforms, some spectacular new experiences on different device form factors, and uh, and frankly, I'm excited to be able to talk about them today here with you. Yes, definitely. So, really cool stuff. Awesome to see all this in action. We've got always great new functionality coming basically with every passing month. So, that's about all the time we have to show for today on this show. But uh, before be we wrap up, for sure. let's have a look at today's trivia question. True or false? The OneNote Windows 8 app will convert images with text or handwriting to editable text. Of course the answer was true. We saw this in action using optical character recognition on the surface, yeah. converting that text into type. Very One, cool stuff. Yeah. So we've had a comprehensive list of things that we're doing in terms of enabling those mobile experiences. Yeah, this is a great opportunity to showcase all of the wonderful things we're doing across mobile devices, different platforms. And frankly, this is an area of consistent investment for us. We're really making rapid change to these applications. You've got to keep an eye out because modern office experiences are now on all the devices you care about. Um, and we're going to bring more real soon. And of course, you can follow all of this and more on the Office blog. And also check out The Garage on Wednesdays where we try to give you the latest news and the latest functionality. That's about all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.